today I'm going to be showing off my custom self-titled um, Joey Jordison Slipknot mask. And it's not any store-bought mask. Well, the mask that it's on is store-bought, but the paint job is custom. I might put a for the self-titled book instead of the mate feed kill repeat version because I think just the self-titled matches it just kind of just gave me something to do and I think it's just it looks it looks like it came out similar I'm, try, I'm not trying to say this is close to the professional but I just wanted to showcase this just I tried to do it like a very quick way that Slipknot would do it with just like a simple sharpie or something and so but even though they use the face paints most of the time I just kind of made a sharpie it gave it a similar look so I just kind of thought I'd just show it off for a quick little video that might be uploaded the day of filming it might not but yeah I just wanted to showcase it to you now I'll let you and I'll go into detail of like what's been done up a quick blank version. I'll go, I'll go grab my blank version of this mask. So here's the blank version. I haven't put it on a foam head yet, but I decided to, so I went to Torrey City today, just for, just to see some of their Asus stuff with my mom, and I saw these white masks, and I really liked them since it, it was a very similar mask to Bucket Head and Joey Jordison's Mate Feed Kill Repeat masks, which were originally 86 Caesars. This is not, and that is not an 86 Caesar. These are just some simple little uh, Party City masks that are just the white ones. And I just thought they would look cool. Just give a nice little video on it. I really like them. Yeah. yeah, so what I did was, first thing of course I did was sharpie it. And yes, I got a new blade for filming. But, so I just kind of sharpened it in the same style. The mouth's not as good, but it works. Uh, so, what I had done was, right here, I cut out the chin. I'll pull up this one after I look ahead. For kind of trim. That's what it originally That's what it was like. That's what it was originally like. And then, all I had done, then I just kind of did a little bit of trimming on the edge of the um, mask, right on the corners, just to kind of make it a little bit sleeker and a little bit thinner than the basic things are were. So, that's just about it for my review, not, well, my show, my show of my custom Joey Jordison self-titled mask. And I'll shut up for a bit, and I'll just kind of let you all see what the mask looks like in some better lighting. Put some lights on it, and yeah, I think I'll end the video there. So, bye everyone.